Tempo. Hello my Gemini friends, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your love reading for February. What you can expect to come towards you. Let's see, have a look and see what's going on in your mind, what's going on in your head, maybe of the person that, you know, you're dealing with. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating, trying to eat mindfully and healthily? Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Hmm. So everything in moderation this month, Gemini. That's even putting your energies out there as well. Any energy you put out there, do it in moderation. Friendship, same as Libra got. Be with the ones who make you shine, who love you and really care. Keep those and let the others go creation someone's trying to create something remember your thoughts shape your future and your words create today your choices become your reality so if we choose to live in excess chances are we are going to have excess live in excess of addiction in any way shape or form we're going to have excess wanting to build a stable foundation but not seeing your way forward as to how to do it holding on tight smelling the flowers but yet, in the midst of them flowers, in the center of what you're smelling as beauty, is absolutely your financial reward. Not seeing the positive in this situation. Five of Cups, it's about he's turning around, looking at where he's come through a new portal and built confidence in himself, maybe felt emotion for somebody, went and hung out with his friends, did some meditation about if he wants to stay there. Five of Cups is, no, I'm turning my back on this because I really, really, really would like a soulmate. Well, there is healing coming or a wish granted in that form. Not seeing the positive in a situation. All of these cups are behind him. He wants his sixth cup. And that's the evolution of emotion. It's the evolution of life, right? We all evolve and expand to want the next for our soul's growth. All up in your head about that. Mm -hmm. I want healing. I want that wish granted. But I'm still looking back at those cups on occasion. Looking back. Lovingly. <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be an ending to this up in your head nonsense. This is Nine of Swords, Sleepless Night, Stress, Worry, Aggravation. Your dreams haunting you. Somebody has been in your thoughts, probably could be an Aquarius. Could be. Could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be another Gemini, such as yourself. Scorpio, even. But nonetheless, it's like a battle cry. When this ends, it's like a battle cry, and healing will find you. We have the emperor, so it's about coming into someone who's older than you, has control over your money, your job, your boss, employer, CEO, someone who's in control of a whole shebang that you answer to. Someone could be worried about the matriarch of the family passing away and hoping for healing before that happens. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is Aries energy. So feeling emotional, but yet not showing all of your emotions. You're like not telling the whole story as to how you feel. Catching the sweet nectar of life in your cup here, which is honey. And this card is depicted being led by orbs and fairies around you. But you've lost much, it seems. You've lost quite a bit. Seems like you've lost limb. Perhaps someone's returning from war. We have a Virgo here. Friends. So someone is going inward to see who their true friends are who they can count on, who they can rely on, and let the others go. It's very wise looking at where you've been, seeing where you're at, and going to decide which way you move forward. But this process does take patience. Now, 
this hermit here is looking down at a Sagittarius whose hair is blowing in the wind. Possibly Sagittarius. It's a card of Sagittarius. Could be any one person. Pick your choose. All right. So it's about patience and having patience for enlightenment to come your way. That the divine is working in the background to bring everything that you desire, whether your passions to meet your emotion, into the solidity. That is you and what your soul has required. Now, feeling defensive about waiting and taking your time. Perhaps people are pushing you a little bit. Maybe that's why you got to let some friends go. Um, setting healthy boundaries, but remember not to stay in this energy. I want you to set those boundaries and tell them, listen, this is how I feel. This is where I stand. But I want you to trust and let the divine patrol those boundaries for you because you cannot manifest well when you're in this energy, especially if you're trying to manifest love okay you end up taking that same energy into the new relationship oh speaking of which feeling romantic feeling enthusiastic feeling loving someone's going to offer you an apology perhaps either that or this is a new love coming into your life who feels wonderful about you absolutely Perhaps you're going to embrace love. They might even have a gift with them. A little surprise for you. About what it is they've created while the two of you have not seen each other last. Now, someone here is deciding whether they want married, committed love or fanciful, fun, and free love. Now, this, this is depicted as a bride, so that's marriage. Red is about passion, so he's deciding between commitment or just passion, following his passions. So what do I want to create with the Empress? You can create the background of your life, the background of whatever you want your life to be. Now, it's like this skirt she's wearing, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a mirror, but it's showing the rest of the pond. And the rest of your emotional fulfillment, happiness, all of that sort of stuff can be whatever you want to create it to be. So deciding what that's about and where emotion fits, where love fits. So someone's got to have a decision as to maybe whether to stay friends or to take it to the next level to get out of some sort of energy. And we have a wish granted coming in here. In this card, it depicts a pregnant woman, but I think this more so means that you're pregnant with birthing new ideas and new situations into your life that truly are a wish granted that you've waited for a long time to have happen. Could be upwards of nine years. Could be. Cats are Pisces Scorpio energy here too. Got lots of energies going on here. Gemini's energy showing up loud and proud. That's you guys probably deciding. Taking a rest, taking a vacation, waiting. But it's like, if I wait any longer, Halo, how long do I wait? I am starting to grow moss. <laughs> Someone is starting to grow moss. You're petrified, almost turning into petrified wood. It's like, I look like a stump. I look like a rock. So... It's about moderation. So doing things in moderation about what you want to create. You don't manifest it all like that. It never happens that way. It's about manifesting the beauty of what can be and not necessarily manifesting the beauty of what is 10 years from now. Right now, if that makes sense to you. Buckling down, getting the work done. So someone's going to get an opportunity to do just that. Perhaps someone's looking into going on a diet or improving their health in some way. Wheel of Fortune spins when you do. Wheel of Fortune is all about a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Perhaps you're working on your own. Could be offered a new job or apprenticeship leveling up. There's the healing coming there. There's that new love coming in. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone coming to tell you something emotional. And it's based on truth. It's grounded in truth. It's grounded, all right? It's stuck in a pile of rocks. Seems to me it's your birthright to have this truth and to have learned it, to know it. Otherwise, the Wheel of Fortune would not be spinning next to it. It wouldn't even be here if it wasn't your birthright. There's a truth. It's been a hard-fought, hard-won truth about where you put your energy, what it is you want to create. Um, now, you could have a couple of knights coming in here. Hot 
on the trot for you to offer you. We got someone who's maybe younger, less experienced. We got someone who's, where's the other one? Might be kind of playerish energy, not sure what to do. We have someone who's sitting in emperor energy, taking control of their life over their emotions and just taking a rest, just taking a rest. But they're here too, so you'll have to decide what works for you in this reading. Let's pull a card for energy, where you're supposed to head, what you're supposed to do next. Sacred. Life is sacred. Sacred in the way that it is the animator of your soul. Life is your body. It is a manifestation of you. If you can create your body, there is no end to what you can create. Your life is yours to do what you will with. You can make it whatever you want. All dreams and possibilities are open to you. Be who you are. Love who you are. Move forward. Be courageous. As you inspire yourself, you will inspire others. Today, breathe in the breath of life. Be present in each moment. You are free to be who you are. Feel into the essence of you, the larger part of you, the divine, the grace that you are. Sense this eternal, ever-expanding wonderment of you. And know a knowingness of your truth bliss and joy so you know who you are that truth has been hard fought and hard won it's about understanding that you yourself are sacred and you deserve what it is you desire and that you desire it for a reason i hope this all makes sense to you and i sure hope it resonates i'll talk to you guys again soon blessings